I'm anxious. I'm anxious. I'm anxious. I'm anxious. I'm anxious. Some days it's not been able to get out of my bed, you know, sitting on the edge of it and wondering how I'm going to put one foot on the floor and start the day. Anxiety is like a knot in my stomach and it's like not being able to control anything. Anxiety to me, it's a overwhelming feeling of fear. Anxiety for me is probably like a state. So like if I'm in a state of happiness or a state of sadness, um, and it kind of comes, I don't have control over it that much. Um, sometimes I can wake up in that state and then I have to kind of work myself to get out of it. Anxiety for me is uh, the feeling of being exposed and not being in control. The feeling I get before I face a difficult situation or an uncertain situation. Sweaty palms, I get palpitations. Yeah, it's hard to focus. It, it's, it's a twisting of the gut feeling. Um, feeling that I want to get sick even though I can't. Tightness in my chest, uh, dry mouth, but yeah. They're the physical symptoms, mentally, like very difficult to focus, like my mind will be racing. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, in the last couple of years I've learned to, for the longest time I didn't, um, I started seeing a counsellor a couple of years ago and that made a huge difference to my life, just having an event to get it out there and hearing myself sound out the problems in my life to somebody who, who had no skin in the game allowed me to see that it wasn't that crazy, you know, I wasn't that mental, that, you know, the things I was saying was normal. I feel more comfortable talking to people who are also feeling anxious or have anxiety because I feel like we're on a even playing field and they're going to understand me more than people who don't have it. No, I believe that people are not ready to listen. I started talking about it recently. Um, I didn't used to talk about it because I just thought with time it would go away. But when I realized that if I didn't get help, it would not go away, and then I started like talking to my husband and eventually I sought professional help as well to help me with that. focus on the present moment so I try to do a little bit of mindfulness I focus on things like I can breathe I'm alive things are gonna be okay and it usually works deep breaths uh, I try mindfulness I, I work out uh, yeah routine um, so the only way I can get past it is if, I, if I'm having a good week that's having you know th three or four liters of water a day eight hours sleep regular decent food, try not to go too mad at the weekends, I don't always get away with the last one but if my routine shuffles one way or the other I'm, I'm lost a little bit so I just try and stick as much as I can to that routine. I'm super organised, um, I really good structured routine and um, I also now exercise loads so um, I'm going to thank it for a couple of those things. Yeah because of my anxiety I think I've, I've learned to be a little bit more confident in myself and in what I'm talking about and stuff. I would thank my anxiety for allowing me to be who I am and for helping me be more careful and thoughtful of other people. Fear is good sometimes. I think fear helps you grow as a person, um, you know, because you're looking at what you can change, what you can affect. I mean, if I take me five, six years ago versus the routine that I've built up, the guy four years ago couldn't have done it and the only way I did it was was actually by, by examining my fear. So you, if you're going to thank someone for that, you know, why not? If I had a cold or a headache, you wouldn't question how I got it. But you'd understand what I'm going through. Let's look at our mental health the exact same way. 